math. Maybe you love it or maybe you hate it, but either way, it's a subject that's kind of necessary in your homeschool day. So maybe you're trying to figure out what math curriculum to use in your homeschool this year. Are you a newbie homeschooler and you're trying to sift through all the many options? Or maybe you've been homeschooling a while, but the math curriculum you used last year or with a previous child just isn't working for your math student. Or maybe you are so tired of the never ending pile of grading and hours of oversight necessary to do homeschool math well with multiple children at different grade levels. And I can definitely relate to that as a mom of five from kindergarten up through high school. Now, homeschooling math does not have to make kids or their mamas cry. So when CTC Math offered to sponsor this video, I was delighted to see that they have created an option for a thorough homeschool math program that is easy for mom and the kids alike. CTC Math is a comprehensive online math curriculum from kindergarten all the way up to calculus. They have a level for any grade you may have in your homeschool. The homeschool family membership gives you access to every single lesson and level at the same time. So that means with the homeschool family membership, for one low price, you'll have access to a complete math program for every one of your children. So here's how it works. If you're not exactly sure where to place your student, have them start with a placement test for each topic. And when your student completes the test, you will get a report detailing any lessons that may need to be reviewed. And I really like this option because you know, maybe your child really is pretty much ready for the next grade level of math, but there are just one or two topics that they need a little more review on, or maybe if you're switching programs, you know, different programs do things in different orders and you don't want to have any gaps. So because you have um, access to all the levels and all the lessons at once, your student can actually just go back and review those topics rather than retaking an entire grade math curriculum. Um, and then they won't have gaps in their understanding and they can just review those topics and move forward to the next grade level. You know, on the flip side, if you have a child who just loves math and is breezing through the topics, they're going to be able to continue on to the next grade level of math, even mid-year, without you having to go out and buy a new math curriculum because, remember, you have access to all the levels all at one time. So let me walk you through the way you would set up an account for your student. So let's say you are um, signed into your CTC math as the teacher and you're wanting to set up the accounts for your students. Um, you can see I signed myself in as a, a student, Amy Sloan, so that I had, was able to explore the site, um, both from the teacher and the student side. But let's just go through and share um, Jill Smith, okay? We're gonna set up Jill Smith. And we're going to say she's Jill Smith HD with um, a little password here. And I'm going to be deleting this account later. So you won't be able to sign in and as Jill Smith, sorry. Um, now I get to decide what a passing grade is. Um, is, she going, is Jill going to be able to move on with a grade of 80, 90, 70? You know, you can decide that and change it later. And then how many times do I want the student to attempt the problem, attempt to figure it out themselves before the solutions are available? So I'm just gonna leave it with the default settings for now, but you can see how you can really customize this based on your own unique child. Okay, now, so when I go in as the teacher again, and I can see Jill's work, um, I can see, you know, obviously nothing's happened to her yet, but I can see which course she is in and what results she's getting. Um, I can send it to myself as email. I can download a PDF. So depending on how many records you need or like to keep. Um, I can also set tasks for, for Jill. 
And so I can um, assign her due dates and, and things like this. Um, I can see which diagnostic tests that she has had. Um, basically, you, you have the ability to see, to see everything that you, want, um, that you want to know here. Each CTC math lesson begins with a video tutorial. Each of the more than 1,400 math, uh, math lessons, those CTC math tutorials are short and to the point. So they're gonna last from between four to nine minutes, not too long, so those short little wandering attention spans can stay on track. And each video presents the concepts of the math lesson step by step. Now it's gonna combine the audio where you hear the teacher talking and explaining the lesson and some very simple animation. So it really helps students use both those auditory and visual learning styles. Another benefit of the video tutorial is that your child can stop and rewind the video as many times as necessary without the teacher <clears throat> or the mom getting frustrated. And because the lessons are broken into such short bite-sized chunks, it really helps your child, like I said earlier, keep their attention on their work. So after your student has watched the video, they're going to complete a series of interactive questions. Um, some of these are online, some you print off the worksheets and work the problems out by hand. There's, there's sort of options depending on yours and your child's preferences. And the interactive questions are designed to help the students actually take what they've learned and apply those math concepts. And this is gonna really help solidify the material in their mind uh, so they don't just forget the next day when they come back to their math lessons. Not that that's ever happened to me or my children. Okay, so after completing the worksheet, you're going to have principal fully worked solutions for every step. And those um, are gonna show not just the end answer, but really how you should get there. And this is really important because you don't want students just regurgitating correct answers. We wanna make sure that they actually know how and why the math problem works. And with those solution guides, you're gonna be able to help figure out you know, where they went wrong in the math problem. All right, as your student works through the material, the other really cool thing about the CTC math program is that they're constantly um, providing you ongoing progress reports. So it will help you as the parent and you know the students, if you have an older student, um, identify areas that are going to need a bit more work. Um, each math lesson that your student attempts is going to be logged and whatever results they get are stored in the system. So not only will you be able to see you know, when they passed and finished a lesson and, you know, what their score was, what percentage they got right and wrong, but you're also going to see how much time, like how many times they have to go back and rework things um, in order to pass that lesson. So you're going to be able to instantly see the areas where your children may need a little bit of extra help. Okay, so you are coming in now as the student. Let me kind of show you the student side. Um, you can see that you have elementary, junior high, middle school, and high school courses all set up here. So we have every single level available. I can do anything from kindergarten math to calculus at the moment. But, you know, I'm kind of a fan of fourth grade. So let's pretend that we are in fourth grade. I can now see the different um, units, the different kind of big picture topics that are going to be covered in fourth grade. Let's just come up to number, patterns, and algebra. Ooh, and those tricky fractions, okay? So let's look at equivalent fractions. When I click on um, this topic, first I'm going to have the video, okay? And I'm gonna skip forward a little bit so you can kind of see what I mean about the lessons and um, the animation simultaneously. Isn't it? What about if we split the diagram up like this? Okay, there's six parts now, three are shaded. So three parts out of six are shaded, three sixths. Again, that's the same as a half, the original. If we split it up into 10 parts, 
we count them, you can see that five are shaded. So five over 10, five tenths. Okay, so I will continue and you can see that this lesson is, you know, just under five minutes. So very manageable. Um, and I can complete this video lesson and then I can go to the questions. Click start questions here. And I'm going to start, oh dear, you know, I, I'm going to have to really think. Let's see. Well, hmm, do we know the answer here? Is it 27? And then we're going to submit. Yay, I got it right. Oh, I'm so glad I can pass fourth grade fractions. All right, so three, three fourths. Well, we know that this is going to be 15 twentieths, but let's see what happens if I put something in that's wrong. Let's say I answer the wrong answer. Okay, so you see it's 15 out of 20, and uh, that's like going to be the correct answer. And now at the end, I'm going to be able to go through and see you know, which is right and which is wrong. Um, I will not go through and do this entire lesson. <laughs> okay, so back to Jill's main page. When I want to set up tasks for her, I can come to the tasks icon here at the top. I can add a task. I can decide, you know, entitle it week one or lesson one or whatever. The dates, so say I'm setting up her work for the following week. I can write a note here. Um, it will automatically email me the task report when it's done, and I can go and actually add which lessons I want Jill to take this week. So if you have a younger student who needs like a little bit more hand-holding and specific lesson assignments, you can easily set them up specific tasks so that there's no questions in their mind. Um, or if you have an older student, you know, maybe you would want them to try to work, work out that lesson plan for themselves. Right. We also have a couple very simple games available. There's a speed skill test, which is going to test your ability to perform the basic functions, um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and increase your speed, as well as a little times table game. Oh, see, it's kind of fun. And you can practice your different times tables here. So again, we have the lessons. If my teacher, my parent had set up a task, I would see my assignments here. I'd be able to see my results all in one place. Um, you can just see that there's both the combination of really great lessons and also just the ability to have basically any report at your fingertips that you would want to see. Pretty cool, right? If you are overloaded and you're looking for a way to simplify your homeschool math routine without losing quality of instruction, maybe you should give CTC Math a try this year. You can click at the link um, in the video description to get access to a 50% discount on the homeschool family membership. And there's really nothing to lose because CTC Math offers a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If for any reason you are not completely satisfied with your math program from CTC Math, you can just email them or call them within 365 days. Yeah the whole year and you'll get a 100% refund. I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. So go grab your free trial today at the link that I'll have below and see if CTC Math is a good option for your homeschool family this year.